just saying? That I'm not pregnant. I believe you said I'm not the one who's pregnant. I, I, I don't know what I just said, but the point is that I'm not pregnant, so I, I don't need her, but thank you. Dr. Morrison, I wonder if you'd give me a moment alone with Langston? Of course. Thank you. <sighs> okay, we're alone. Are you pregnant? No. Have you ever been pregnant? No. And yet, you allowed Marco to say that you were pregnant, even though he was lying, and you could see how upset I was by it. I'm sorry. Yes, I imagine you must be. You are a bright girl. I mean, what were you thinking? Surely you realized that, that the truth was going to come out sooner or later, that it was inevitable. Unless... You were protecting someone else. Someone that you love very much. It was Star, wasn't it? Star is pregnant. Mess of things. I, I, I swore that I'd never tell anyone she was pregnant. You didn't tell me. I found out. Because I was so stupid. No, you weren't. I looked into your backpack. I found the pregnancy book, which you were hiding for Star, weren't you? And then Marco was just trying to help. By telling me that you were pregnant? Well, I didn't have any other good ideas why I would have the book. Well, duh, what was this long-range plan? That you'd keep sticking pillows inside your T-shirts? I don't know. I would have said that it was a false alarm that I got my period. But well, then you made this appointment. And... Well, based on the information that I had at that time, I felt it was our only option. <sighs> I'm really sorry. And... I'll tell Dr. Morrison that I'm sorry. Yes, you will. And I'm sorry that I upset you. I'm just glad that you're all right. <laughs> and as for Star... Whew. Am I safe to assume that this baby is Cole's and that's why they went away together? Mr. Manning wouldn't let them see each other. And they figured that if he found out, he would kill Cole. Yes, they were probably right. But why, why didn't they tell me? That's right. I wasn't around. Star went to go get an abortion, and Cole found out, and he said that he didn't want her to make any decisions until they had time to think things through. And that's why they went away. Right, to figure everything out. They are not thinking about keeping the baby, are they? I mean, she's not even out of high school. I don't know. Where are they now? I don't know that either. I mean, Cole didn't want us to get in trouble, and he knew that Mr. Manning would come after us, and he did. I mean, he nearly killed Marco today. He's crazy. <sighs> yes, he can be when it suits him. But the good thing is that he has no idea where Star and Cole are right now. <clears throat> I told Dr. Morrison we wouldn't be needing her services and that she would be getting a note from you. Not an email, a note. Absolutely. You needn't go into details. Just apologize. I, I get it. And I'm, I, I'm really sorry. <laughs> you should be sorry. You lied to me. And I ratted out my best friend and I helped her run away, I know. On the other hand, May I say that I have never been prouder of you in my life. You're proud of me? Not for lying. I really hate that part. You didn't feel you had any other choice. You were trying to protect Star. Todd is a very big problem, but we're going to deal with him later. We are going to have to think of some way that we can help Star. Well, I mean, I think she's okay. She's with Cole. And when I talked to her, she sounded better Wait, than what, I thought. What, what, I beg your pardon? You talked to her? <sighs> okay, 
<laughs> Cole gave Marco this prepaid phone so that they could get in touch with each other. And we just talked for a few minutes, but they didn't tell us where they were, just that they were okay. I see. The next time that they call? Oh, they won't be. <laughs> Mr. Manning took the phone. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, Stark talked to him, and Mr. Manning was actually pretty good. He even promised to let them see each other, but oh. I think Star knew that he wouldn't stick to it, especially if he found out that she was pregnant. <laughs> so she basically told him goodbye. Todd is never going to accept that. Yeah, I know. And when he finds them, and he, he will. Wait, oh, hold on. Who are you calling? I'm calling Blair. No, 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 no. I have to. You can't. No. I have to tell Blair that her daughter is pregnant. She's got to protect Star from Todd. Give me the phone. Thank you very much. <sighs> She's not answering. Blair, this is Dorian. It's urgent. Please call me as soon as you get this message. OK. Now we better talk about you and Marco. I hope that Star's situation has made an impact on you and that you are now thinking about your relationship with Marco. OK, believe me, I, I get it. Right. So, uh, do I need to have a talk with Marco? No, 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 that's not necessary. Trust me, we're not and we haven't, you know. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> such a brilliant, beautiful, special girl. And I want you to have the future that you deserve. Thanks. Me too. <laughs> I realize that I've come a bit late into your life, but I hope that I've managed to keep you a little girl for just a while longer. I haven't been a little girl for a very long time. 